But yeah, so you kind of like, uh, you said in high school. 84 too, so we're older than that. But I don't know what color, I don't tempo, I'm trying to visualize the four tempo. Yeah, I don't know, so you yeah. said that you had an F-150. Yes, yeah. 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 And um, you guys go around, and you said that you liked um, kind of late 80s, early 90s hip hop, is that true? <laughs> that is a fact. That is a fact? That's who, a fact. who did you kind of like though? Oh, he said NWA, which is very interesting. Yeah, it was probably appropriate. Yeah. Time, but yeah. <laughs> you weren't saying a lot, right? Right, right, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, we liked everything. Yeah, that was, uh, we had an influx of a little bit of everything. Yeah. West Coast, East Coast. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you guys didn't even have those, like, those, those East Coast, West Coast wars in high school, right? <laughs> they didn't really necessarily come up until, like, 94-ish or something. Like I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That happened. So, I that the cassette tape, you know, that you had to put in. Yeah. Flip over and then fast forward. Yeah, no iP iPods or oh, no, CDs definitely. or anything like that. Yeah, that's my that's my generation. So yeah. what is the um well who did you like back then? What kind of music do you still listen to now? I yeah. listen to everything. I yeah. literally listen to everything. When when you came in I was I have uh, uh I had Pandora on with uh, I think the very naked ladies station, so yeah. but everything. There's 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 rap, there's country, there's yeah. classical, there's everything, rock and roll. Do the players know that you like NWA? <laughs> that, that, That's <laughs> old. I haven't listened to this in that long time. You so. haven't? Okay, that's not on your But, but I'm, I'm willing to learn. Yeah? Yeah. No, absolutely. It was, so it, was, it, was, it couldn't have been just NWA. I mean, maybe like in 92 when you were a senior, you might add, I don't know if you were a Tupac fan, but I think you were still kind of a... Yeah, I was not a big... That, that kind of missed my little wheelhouse there um, for Tupac. I'm trying to, you know, Eric B. Rock him and, and okay. uh, who else was back then? Curtis Blow. Curtis Blow, uh, now yeah. that's, that's bringing it back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd have to, yeah. Now, did you ever just dress up in gold chains and start popping <laughs> the locket, you know? <laughs> Nothing like that? Yeah, I bet you did. No, I bet Paul you did. Paul your guy Paul Rubenstein, right. he, he, he had the nylon jacket backspin going. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah. And he was doing that, that kind of stuff, so you never put down a cardboard box and just started oh, playing yeah. Oh, yeah. You did? I was not. Yeah, you were, you were, you did the back spin. Yeah, yeah you started. That, that, that was Coosh Bay Hip Hop dancing. That yeah, was, that was a, you guys like, had your own little, uh, little set or whatever. Yeah, like, exactly. People, people was, well, that's, that, that's cool. That's, um, it's very interesting also, and this is the most incriminating thing, is that you guys, like, wore out the Milli Vanilli tape. <laughs> Milli Vanilli was huge. <laughs> yeah. The, like the, I mean, there was only one tape, right? Right, so yeah. Was, uh, yeah. Milli Vanilli tape. Exactly. What? What who, was the Milli Vanilli? Who was that that sang that one? Milli Vanilli? I guess that's a really good question. Yeah. Uh, the um, so why why Millie Vanilli? Was it just why a line? Yeah, no, they were they were huge back then. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. I no, yeah. I think it was three at the time. So, <laughs> um, why would what? Um, gosh, I just totally forgot what it was. Um, what kind of music do you get nostalgic about now? Nostalgic. Uh, um, it's like half the fun of music now is that like you have right, stuff you yeah. like and um, stuff that you grew up with. Yeah, all the I, I don't know, all the old stuff like I still like you know sixties or fifties or whatever kind you know that yeah. I still listen to that sometimes too. Whether it's Beach Boys or earlier or you know the doo wop kind of stuff. Yeah. Floyd, like Floyd is an expert at but, uh, uh, the doo wop stuff. Yeah, uh, I don't know everything. I don't yeah. Know. So what, what was it, what was a typical day back in high school when you were still there? School, yeah. practice. Try to how about, Hang out. You know, I know like, you're yeah. definitely busy on the, on the weekdays, but a weekend, what, what kind of stuff would, would necessarily, okay, what would ne kind of stuff would necessarily happen? I, I don't know. Uh, probably the same stuff that happens there now. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't. Oh, I wasn't, no, I wasn't no, it's much worse now. <laughs> it's much yeah. worse. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, hang out with friends. Yeah, go just to fishing or grabbing or climbing or something in the morning. And, um, you know, probably something, we were always, excuse me, we were always doing something sports-wise, you know, throughout the year, whether it was go down, uh, you know, go down to Bates Park, have a little home run derby, or go to, to, up to the high school and play football, or, you know, just kind of stuff. Yeah. So yeah. what was the, um, how does the typical day kind of go now? The typical day, uh, this time of year, you know, we get started probably, Players don't get started until about 7.45. Uh, most of us are in here at about 7 a.m. before sometimes. Um, and then we've got, we've got a pretty, you know, pretty ironed out schedule, of, um, a regimented schedule of, of what, we've, what we've got ahead and kind of how we you know, 
plan for, for uh, not only practice, but recovery time, meetings, and then, you know, everything the weights they're doing, doing study hall, doing a lot of stuff. Study hall will start, obviously, when, when school starts, but um, it's pretty, pretty regimented. Um, a lot of that is, is regulated, you know, how, many, how, many, how much and how many times we can practice, um, which is a, you know, a national deal. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, get ready to go. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, but what do you do when you go? I mean, Floyd told me that you, you were starting to do some kind of do-it-yourself thing. I don't know if you know, <laughs> was finished with it, but like, what kind of hobbies do you got now? Family. My family is my hobby, which is yeah. not good to say, but it's uh, this time of year, my, my wife always jokes that it's like a deployment, which is not like a deployment, but it's it's you know we're not around as much as we'd like to be um, with our with our families, but but uh, yeah, I'd like to say I'm a, a golfer, which I'm not, and and then trying to. Just, just be around, be around our kids as much as possible. Right now is the is always the toughest thing for for a coach this time of year. It's tough, you know, oh, to, yeah. to kind of make time to to make that happen. And and, uh, and my wife is awesome in that regard of, of trying to get them up here as much as possible. You know, in and around our schedule. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, do do stuff around the house, hang out with kids. And, Pretty boring. Goes back to your yeah. point. It's boring. Yeah. Well, you know, it's better than that than being, uh, you know, too much, uh, too much fun. You know, getting yourself in trouble. But so, what is the? Um, so, okay, what do what are your children's name? And how old are they? Max and Maggie, and uh, Max is six and Maggie's three. Really? Yeah. Wow. So they're they're just uh, they're still pretty young. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Been yeah. To school. Actually, probably kindergarten or first grade. Yeah, Max being first grade. That that's a tough thing too, is because we used to. Be able to. They used to always be able to come after practice, but we, we practice in the morning, yeah. and uh, so now with them in school, that'll be that'll be tough. So I'll miss a little bit more, but that's my point. Oh, absolutely. And uh, I mean, it's 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 got to be a nice little perk for them, you know, all these kind of things. Yeah. It's it's awesome. It's, it's yeah, they come around and you know get in trouble and run around in the sand pit and and uh, always you know mess around with our players and stuff. Which they're they're awesome around around our kids too. Oh yeah, I I, I can imagine. What is the um. What kind of, I mean, from from what I, I, I found out from Floyd and uh, Coach Weigel was the fact that, that your your dad was kind of an instrumental um, part of just kind of football in general. And obviously, he was instrumental in your upbringing because he's your dad and he was present, sure. you know. But, um, but yeah, I mean, like, how, what kind of things did he do as, as, as a younger guy and how happy would he be now because he passed away a couple of years mm -hmm. ago, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, what, how, what kind of, what would it mean to him to see that you have this kind of job? Oh, he'd be, he'd be proud, he'd be ecstatic, and at the same time, he'd tell me what I was doing wrong. So, really? you know, that, and that, and I would expect it. Uh, but he, he, you know, it epitomizes what I would want to be, and I think what a lot of people should try to aspire to be. If he was kind of a soft-spoken guy, but, but uh, a man of action in a lot of ways. Uh, big guy, really quiet, humble, um, and, and really cared about a lot of people for all the right reasons. And, and just, you know, was a great guy in the community, um, loved being around young people, uh, and yeah, I mean, parts of him will, will be reflected in everything you do. Oh, absolutely. So, and the, uh, I mean, what kind of, like, what, when you first found out that you got, a, like, got, not like a big gig, maybe, like in Colorado, right? Or, I mean, even when you found out that you were going to be a grad assistant over here, mm -hmm. like, what, what kind of uh, conversation did that kind of go through? I heard that you would tell Kent, or Kent would find out before your dad would find out some of these kind of things. Um, I don't know. That's never been something like we didn't have a lot of those touchy feely kind of conversations too much in, in my family. And and I, you know, uh, not that that's a touchy feely conversation, but we didn't sit around and you know talk about that stuff much. And, and it was kind of like, hey, this is gonna happen, and you just did it, and then, you know, and. and uh, but no, he was he was a guy that if, if he was ever able to be at the game, he was at the game, you know, which was which was awesome. Yeah. And and as as the years went on, he and, and Bill Lilly would, would uh, travel around together and, and come to almost every one of our games, home, away, bowl, whatever. And and those guys had a ton of fun. And we had a, we had a lot of fun. Oh, I'm you know, meeting up with him. Is there any kind of time where you can remember where he just like he just kind of. Uh, just made a point to get to you guys' game or any kind of situation where he really kind of just kind of showed, maybe not told, but showed that he really, really liked what you guys were, like what you were accomplishing, which is probably what you were accomplishing. Well, 
those guys, I mean, they, they, they probably wore out that, whatever it was, that it used to be, that, I think, a 5 a.m. flight out of, uh, out of North Bend International to, to, get, to get wherever. You know, they have uh, a lot of times a, a late Friday night uh, and they ended up in whatever, maybe Norman, Oklahoma, uh, the, next, the next night. Uh, and, and that was just, and again, he never talked about it much, but that, that's not easy, but it's fun and it's something that he really enjoyed. And, just seeing those guys, whether they, they uh, my dad was a notoriously bad driver, mm -hmm. and uh, to hear the, the driving stories of him and a couple of his buddies was always, always, uh, was good, good entertainment too. Oh, I can imagine. I mean, uh, so he was, he was a bad driver. He, huh? he was, uh, well, maybe not a bad. Yes, he was a bad. Yeah, <laughs> you could, you could say that comfortably now. Is this okay? What do you think you would say if you knew that you had this? I mean, if he was sitting in this chair at this palatial estate that you guys have right now, what do you think that he would probably say? Well, with regards to the deal, he'd be, you know, kind of simultaneously embarrassed and, and awed at the same time. He'd be, <laughs> he'd be he'd be kind of standing in the corner and quiet with a smile on his face. Oh, well, why does, it, I mean, um, why does, why would he be embarrassed? Well, just of the, this, I mean, the immensity and the, yeah. the, 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 this place is incredible. Um, and, yeah, I mean, too. To a certain degree, it's, it's you know, it's it's a little ridiculous, <laughs> well, yeah. but it's the good kind of. Ridiculous. It, it is the great kind of. Ridiculous. I mean, yeah. if you, I, I went through the pictures of it. I'm, I'm going to go to the tour on Monday, but there is some crazy stuff. It's incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, yeah. do you do you so do you, do you never kind of get kind of sentimental about your dad? I mean, obviously, oh, you think about it all the time. Absolutely. Do you kind of ever? Do you ever? You don't really like picture what he would what he would say or what, what he would kind of do? Do you ever just like? That's exactly. What you do. He'd yeah. be sitting in the corner with a smirk on his face, and 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 he wouldn't say much. Yeah. yeah, but you know he'd be proud. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is. I mean, growing up in Oregon, this has got to be in some way you fantasize about this job, probably. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you consider this your dream job? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, absolutely, without question. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is. This is. You know, I mean, this from from the scoreboard to this used to be gravel when I was growing up. This used to just all be gravel. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think when I came here, it was just a big stadium and it was cool. And, and then when you get into, to, and you, you know, you have that sentimental tug of car from that angle. And then once you're, you know, in this profession, you know, there's places that kind of have it and places that don't. And this is definitely places that, that you know, matches their, their expectations with their resources and, and you know and fan support and all, all the things that go into that. Um, and so this is yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a great place to be in, in every regard from a personal standpoint, being being close to home, a place that my wife likes to live, um, you know, a ton of great friends here and it's a place where you can, you know, you can do you can win it all here. Um, oh yeah. That's that's you know, those places are, are rare. Yeah. What's the um, how often do you visit Coos Bay? Uh, I mean, several, several times a year. Yeah. When was the last time you made it out over there? A couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. huh? Oh, nice. And you just kind of just go over there and just kind of relax? Or what do you like? Do you find it tranquil? Do you find it relaxing? <laughs> like, what are you <laughs> uh, I love Coos Bay. That's, I mean, I, I uh, uh, we go to the beach every time we're there, certainly now, especially with the kids. The last time we went out with Floyd and his family, and yeah, we got to the beach, went to the tide pools. Yeah, get all that stuff. So you just kind of, yeah. I mean, does it feel like home? Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, and so, I mean, what is the thing that you really miss about it? I mean, if there is something that you miss about it, what would it really be from where you know, when you were younger? Yeah, my mom. My mom. Uh, and then... You still visit her, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the beach. I was, I was you know, getting to, getting, to, getting to the water and getting out to, to Charleston, all the places that we went basically daily. Uh, growing up and all the people that, that you know make that place special. Oh yeah. yeah. It's a very nice place. I've only been there six months maybe, but it's a place where you can go around and say hi and you know yeah. say hi back, yeah. which is nice. Let me let's see if I'm get left because I know you've got a part of the amount of time. Yeah, you're right, cutting it close. <laughs> but um yeah so you so you go back as much as possible. I mean do you um do you go to visit your mom a lot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I mean, if you don't feel comfortable talking about it, what is it like? I've heard that she's in poor health. I don't really know the specifics about it. Um, my mom is 